All right, let's get to it. Um, Tyler Reddick, the defending winner of the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix. Uh, Tyler, what does your prep look like ahead of next Friday's return of NASCAR to the Circuit of Americas? Very extensive. Uh, we got a lot to certainly cover. Uh, this past weekend in Phoenix, we we had the first opportunity to uh, to race the new downforce package that that the Cup cars have. Certainly, it's a little bit different. So we're trying to just take all of the all of those points of the race car that might be different and just take that into consideration while we prepare for the race at Circuit of the Americas. So, uh, yeah, we've been working away at it already, just trying to get ready for it. We obviously have some pretty good notes to go off of from last year's race, but uh, we know that we're going to have to come back even stronger than we were this last time because, uh, well, the rest of the competition has been aiming to improve. Yeah, we'll talk more about your um, wild victory from last year. It was a, a thrilling one. But um, first, you mentioned Circuit of Americas um, before is your favorite track to race. Why is that? Is it the technical side of it? Is it, is it just the recent success you've had? Yeah, I think for me, it goes it goes before the success, obviously. This, this place... <laughs> Over the years for me, I've spent time racing it in, in other other series as well. And it's just it, it's it's a very fun racetrack to just just make 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 laps on. Uh, for me, you know, a lot of these racetracks that we go to are fun because of the competition on the racetrack you're competing against. But for me, Coda is is one of those racetracks that is, is super enjoyable, just you versus the racetrack all by yourself. With the 20 corners, the elevation changes, the the different sections of the racetrack that have gotten weathered the different sections of the track that have now been repaved um there's a lot going on there and every time we come back it's a little bit different so um it's just a really fun challenge to attack this track lap after lap and, and for me with the 20 corners you have it's really difficult to run the absolute perfect lap but that's what we strive to do here that's what it takes to win races so for me uh just racing this racetrack um is what makes it so fun yeah that it sounds like so you mentioned all of that preparation um it's already started. It's extensive. Is the mentality as you approach um, the upcoming event um, to stay focused, locked in? Are you like, what is does that mental prep look like? Because I'm sure that's really one of the biggest parts of it. Yeah, mental, physical, there, there's there's a few mm -hmm. things. But yeah, it's just just getting refamiliarized with with the layout, understanding what's, you know, what is you know, first off, what's the most important areas of the racetrack? Okay, work on those first. Um, and then as you go through the through the lap, you know, pick up on all the other little details that might get you a tenth or two here or there. So uh, that's that's kind of what the process look like looks like. You have an order, the you know, things you want, an order of, of importance, if you will, things you want your car to do in these areas. And you kind of have to, with 20 corners, you have to make sacrifices along the way. So that's another thing that's really fun about this place is, I don't think there's a race car that will that'll be that'll be at this track uh, coming up that has a perfect handling car in every corner. You're just gonna have to make sacrifices and choose what areas of the track you want to be strong. So yeah, there's there's plenty of opportunities. The simulators we have with with TRD, the stuff we have here in house at 2311, uh, we have all the tools necessary to to put in a lot of effort. Um, and generally, it, it's paid off for us. So um, we've been we've been working on it. And we will continue to do so until we arrive. That's incredible. You mentioned it paying off. So last year, your win in three NASCAR overtime restarts, you you get the big victory. Talk about just how special that time was for you, but also, if at all, how it motivates you even more this time around. Yeah, I mean, we we won last year, so now anything but winning again is, you know, is, is, not, as, is not as high up on the list. So... Yeah, when we return, obviously, we know everyone's going to be looking at what we we bring back. Um, the competition's going to close in some, so that's why it's important to put in the work and, and try and make improvements to the car. Certainly, we were very happy with the car that we brought last year, but we know we can always do better. We can always find something to work on, so that's what we're going to be focusing on. Um, certainly, you know, being able to outlast competition through those overtime restarts was very uh, stressful on the mind and body. It was good to overcome a race like that. Uh, but, but obviously it all comes back to those fundamentals mentioned earlier, just putting the whole lap together, lap after lap. Um, and then just having some racecraft ready to go with it. If it comes down to battling with another car. 
Absolutely. Okay. I have two more quick questions for you. Um, one, just while we're on the topic of racing, um, what's your inspiration just as a, as a, as a racer, like what, mm. what motivates you? What, um, what are you doing all of this for? I mean, I think for me, I just enjoy, enjoy competition. Um, love racing and battling with other drivers on the racetrack. Obviously you enjoyed a lot more when you're able to come out on top, but, um, that's a big part of it. And then for me, you know, it's just, it's, it's all just a journey, right? It's, it's, it's fun and exciting being able to learn new things every time you go to the racetrack, whether it's Coda or, or like this past weekend in Phoenix for us being able to go there and, and improve a lot and be contending for the win there too. So yeah, it's just a process, right? Uh, I've really enjoyed what, what that looks like and, and the effort it takes to just become a more well, well-rounded driver for me. I was anything about that when I got in the cup series and it's been a, a real, a real journey to, to improve in all areas. And lastly, um, I know you're in Phoenix right now, but uh, you were in Austin previously. I think you said the week prior or for a week and um, Austin has a lot going on right now. I believe South by Southwest, uh -huh. the Spurs are going to be in town for the next um, for the upcoming weekend. Of course, what is it next Friday? is the actual race. So um, when you were in Austin and then when you returned to Austin, are you able to get out and do anything? Um, I know you had a visit with UT. And yeah. Longhorn it's Wednesday. yeah. We, we got to spend some time here last week or there last week. And uh, yeah, I got to go uh, hang out with those students and a part of their, part of their uh, racing program, get to look at what, what those students do. They're pretty much building you know, three different types of race cars from the ground up. You got combustion, electric, um, and solar. Um, and, and they're just, they're having to figure it all out all on their own every single time. Um, use what they're learning in school to, you know, build, you know, a rigid or, you know, a sturdy chassis that they're able to get consistent, you know, runs out of um, throughout their, their events. I mean, they're, they're pretty much having to figure it out all, all, all on their own every single time and abide by the, some abide by the rules that are set in front of them. So it's really cool to, to see what they're, to, to talk to them, see what they're working on, see what they've currently put together. Um, you know, even just for what they're doing with, with their, uh, you know, time attack and, and autocross stuff, you know, the amount of effort that they're putting into, you know, the suspension design and to the aerodynamics of, of their vehicle. Um, they're really going all out and it was great to share and share some time with them and, and learn more about what they do. Yeah, that's really awesome. All right. Well, we're based in San Antonio, but I know there's a huge um, NASCAR fan base here that'll be up in Austin for the upcoming event. So wishing you the best of luck. It was great to meet you. Thank you very much.